Okay, so now that we have all of our parts selected and their footprints have been loaded into the table here, we are almost ready to start laying out the board. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first save the schematic here. Then I'm going to go up to this button right here, which is the PCB editor, and click on that. So this right here is where we start building our PCB. But before we can even get started placing stuff on the board, we first need to do two important steps. The first step is we need to choose a manufacturer that we're going to have build this board. So you can go to something like PCB Shopper and put in the specifications you want, and it will give you a list of different manufacturers you can go with and give you the price ratings and you know where they're sourced from. And there you know, are pros and cons for going with any of these. You know, If you have intellectual property concerns, you might want to make sure it's sourced somewhere maybe in the same country. Um, you know, you're looking at the price, you're looking at shipping speed, uh, but really you need to choose a manufacturer before you can go any further. The reason for this is each of these manufacturers, their machinery can have different tolerances to what they are able to produce. So there's limitations on these machines that can vary by manufacturer. And before we can even start laying anything on this board, we first have to program into KiCad what is capable for that manufacturer to make sure that their machines can actually produce what we design. And there are a lot of settings, but fortunately we don't have to enter all these in by ourselves. In fact, we really shouldn't because this is a pretty error prone process to set all of these one by one. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to import settings from a template. So to skip past the shopping process, I'm going to go ahead and build this around the specifications for JLC PCB. I don't have any affiliation with them, but I have used them a lot and their limitations and tolerances are pretty easily uh, accessible on their website. So we have our manufacturer and we have all of our tolerances, but entering all of this into KiCad would be a big pain. So instead we're going to import a template that has all of these already set. So on GitHub, there are some templates you can choose from that have everything set up. This template has both JLC's uh, one to two and multi-layer boards. I'll link to this in the description below. But what you want to do is you want to click on the code button, download zip file, and once it's open, open that up and extract this folder on into your computer somewhere. So I'm going to put this on my desktop. Once you have those files extracted, you want to go back to the PCB editor, click on this button next to the save icon, which is the board setup. And from here, going down to the bottom to this import settings, click on that. You want to browse your file system to where you put the, that folder. So I extracted all those to my desktop. So here they are. Open that up. I'm going to go to JLC's um, one to two layer, which is right here. And then double click on this JLCP keycat file right here. And once that's loaded, go ahead and click select all, which will select all these checkboxes for you and click import settings and then click OK. And you saw a KiCad flash, and what it's done is it's reinitialized KiCad with all of the correct settings we need for GLC's tolerances. I will say though that using a template like this, while I have tested the GLC's one and it does work, um, it, it does have some kind of risk to it because there's no guarantee that, I mean, this is done by uh, people who are not associated with the manufacturers. So you always have to be a little bit careful when using these templates. If you're really concerned, what you can do is you can select on back on the board settings, open that up, and then compare these numbers against what the manufacturer is saying for their tolerances. So now we've done all the prep work and we can start actually designing the PCB. And I'm gonna save that for the next video because it's probably gonna be kind of long. So I'll end this video here and I'll see you in the next video.